All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to solve a grad school entrance exam question, which actually stumped me. And the question is, consider z to the n plus 1 minus i z to the n equals 0. Show that the imaginary part of z equals minus 1 half. Now, so what do you do to this equation? So the first step I actually had correct. I said, well, let's write z to the n equals minus 1 minus i z to the n. Now, you're tempted to take nth roots, but beware of branch cuts. So this is actually not the way to do it. Instead, what do we do? And again, think first lecturing complex analysis. Take the modulus, or absolute value, because the absolute value of minus x is the absolute value of x. So what you're left with is absolute value of z to the n equals absolute value of 1 minus iz to the n. And well, if two positive numbers have the same nth power, then the numbers are equal. So kind of we reduce the, uh, the nth case to the case 1. Okay. And to make this a bit easier, well, square both sides. And now assume that z equals a plus bi, then on the one hand, absolute value squared becomes a squared plus b squared. On the other hand, what is 1 minus iz? Well, that is 1 minus i, a plus bi. So 1 plus b minus ia. And then what is the absolute value squared? So it's 1 plus b squared plus a squared. The nice thing is, so a squared cancels out. And then what you're left with is b squared equals 1 plus b squared. So either b is 1 plus b, or b is minus 1 plus b. This unfortunately doesn't make sense, so we can eliminate this. And so what we get is b plus 1 plus b equals 0. So 2b, or not 2b, is minus 1. So b is minus 1 half, which is just what we wanted. We wanted to show that if z equals a plus bi, then the imaginary part is minus 1 half. And some background behind this. I have a friend who does complex analysis, and he gave me this question, and he told me someone who took one hour of complex analysis can actually solve it. Like think the first lecture or something. I was like, one hour? Not a problem at all. And I looked at this question, and I was like, oh, OK, let's use arguments. He's like, no, too complicated. He's like, let's use logarithms. And he's like, no, 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 think differently. And I was like, oh, polar form. He's like, no. And I was like, ah, I know, Cauchy's integral formula. And he was like, I am, one hour, not a, not a whole semester of complex analysis. And then I was really stumped. And took me 20 minutes to solve it, actually. But it's not that hard. All right, I hope you liked this and you, that you weren't that stumped as me. And if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.